Former DNC chair Donna Brazile took some heat on last week's episode of Real Time with Bill Maher for the pronunciation of GOP candidate Vivek Ramaswamy's name. Let's listen. And Vivek needs to just shut the hell up and go home. I'm tired of it. We all hate Vivek. Okay. It's, it's Vivek. Vivek. Well, whatever. Not that I have... Vivek. It, whatever. Would you, would you say that about uh, other Donna, ethnic? I'm Donna. Vivek. Is it Vivek Ramasama? <laughs> <laughs> Ramaswamy? Vivek Ramaswamy. Thank yeah. you so much. I, I know, learn but... so much when I come on this show. I know. But... Vivek? Vivek. Vivek. Vivek needs I, I, to go I, home. I, yeah. I, look, Shut I, up. I, I, I agree. He, he runs it. I just, yeah. I just feel like there's something wrong with everybody refusing to learn to say his name. Vivek. I just okay, feel I there's will... a little racism there. <laughs> there's no just racism. a little. Okay. Vivek, Vivek, I'll say it. Vivek. Okay, all right. I'm just, I'm just, I'm I'm just saying. Say it, it just say it. like, I know we don't like him, but you know, just say his name right. Hmm. This is a really interesting turnabout for Bill Maher. I can kind of imagine. I can't prove it. I haven't watched all of the hours of tape of his show, but him being broadly indifferent to these kinds of flubs and also really frustrated by people who call racism at every relatively minor slight. I do specifically remember many, many, many people who until very recently and maybe still pronounce Kamala Harris, Kamala, Kamala, all of these other kinds of things. And I don't recall a lot of discourse happening about how racist and inappropriate that was, including people on the left who refused to learn how to pronounce her name. So I do, I, I, I don't disagree with him. I do think we should all make a really you know, dedicated effort to pronounce people's names. And I didn't like uh, uh, the, the whatever comment when she was corrected. But is this really consistent with Bill Maher's approach to these issues? Since we are TV hosts, uh -huh. I can never, ever, I won't do it, um, criticize someone on TV for getting a name somewhat <laughs> wrong because <laughs> someone has made a sizzle reel of all the times I've struggled. Well, it's hard out there. For it is funny. hard. So I'm, I'm not going to get on her about the initial, it, it was kind of a I'm sure I've, slight, I called them one. Vivek the couple first times. I was listening closely because, oh my goodness gracious, <laughs> what am like, I saying? What is this? What's the right way? <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Um, and I, I don't think, and I don't think he cares, but I think he, but, but her issue, then she kind of doubled down on it that and she got issue. a little disrespectful afterward. Yeah. And the whole, he needs to go home or go away. That was, yeah, that's, uh, it was that's, unnecessarily was sassy. That was not a, that was not ideal. Um, it, it, but yeah, mispronouncing people's names is not, I, so I like Bill Maher and I usually agree with him. I don't think it's, it, we should be very cautious about knee jerk accusing people of racism for mispronouncing names. The, the names in Congress I struggle with are, are all the white ladies. Kirsten <laughs> Gillibrand, Gillibrand, that's the one that throws that, me the most. Because yeah. it's the Kirsten, Kristen, and the, I don't know if it's a or a day. Yeah. We've said um, every, every person with a Stein name, <laughs> I guess we're anti Stein, ADL's gonna come for us. <laughs> <laughs> because we can't do those. It's Ken, Ken Clippenstein Ken Stein. Stein. Uh, yeah. uh, our dear, our, the late um, senator from Feinstein, California. Because it's different. And you, you just don't remember which one does which way. And I've tried to come up with mnemonics. I, I never you remember it. them. It, it, is, it, it is challenging. Yeah. The, the, <laughs> the specific thing also is it, it is absolutely true that people who have non-Anglo names get their mm -hmm. names butchered more. Although not exclusively that. Gillibrand seems like it's probably from People you know, say Ireland my last name wrong. I'm sure they do. Constantly. Because and I don't care. It seems unbelievable that you would have as good a last name as Suave. Oh, well, thank you. Like, it you. feels like, yeah. oh, that has to be, like, a, a stage name at very least. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, you you want to force it into something else, Swove, or something that seems more plausible. So I, I get that. And there is, a, there is, like, this cultural dimension to the name pronunciation because, of course, the names that are more familiar in a country that... Was, it has uh, predominantly was founded by and, and have popular names uh, that are from England are going to be easier to say and more common to us. And everybody else, whether you have a long Greek name or a long Polish name or a long Indian name or a long African name, do tend to get butchered. So there is this kind of racial component of it, but it's, it is a little bit more complicated than straight race. And it is very, very interesting to see Bill Maher, who thinks everybody is being too sensitive all the time. The college kids are doing safetyism. Everybody is crying racism at the top of a, a dime to so quickly in defense of a candidate that he likes start to try to wield the accusation of racism, notably 
at a black guest on his show who I'm sure has talked about race a good deal, not just in her career, but on Bill Maher's show itself. Frankly, I think I used to think his name was Bill Maher for like a while. Indeed. Right? 100%. Yeah. Um, anyway, it's it. So, you know, she got a little disrespectful there. I mean, she doesn't like him. That's fine. She's, yeah. she's probably doing a doing a feminism on behalf of Nikki Haley a little bit. Um, Let's get into this a little bit. Why is it that um, there was an article that was written um, shortly after, I think, the last debate that was titled something along the lines of, Vivek's big problem is that he still has to be liked. You know, at the end of the day, he has to figure out how to get people to like him. And he does keep coming out of these debates largely because of his interactions with Nikki Haley, uh, capturing the ire of people, not because of his policy Positions. I think there are people who actually substantively agree with the vague more than Nikki Haley, at least on these foreign policy issues, but still find him grating because he does take these jabs at her. You mm -hmm. know, if you were raising your child right, they wouldn't be on TikTok kind of a jabs. The bringing up her heel height thing, you know, things that are very gender coded with respect to Nikki Haley. Um, a kind of uh, very cocky, perhaps overconfident attitude that he has in those debates and in interviews where he ends up in these exchanges with people like Sean Hannity, who I, again, don't agree with him versus Vivek when it comes to these foreign policy matters. But still, he has a tendency to say, I didn't say the thing that I'm very much quoted as having said. And it's making, it, I think, he, in some ways, he's his own biggest obstacle at this yeah, point. I don't know. I, I think, um, look, I, I think the younger, more online right um, really does like Vivek a lot and absolutely thinks he comes out the better in these battles with Nikki Haley. I think they enjoy spectating them. Mm. I think there's a lot of mainstream commentary, uh, even sort of you know mainstream right, that's, uh, that, fi you know, that finds his conduct toward Nikki Haley deplorable. And look, yeah, if, if I was him, I wouldn't have said all the things he said exactly the way he says them. That's mm -hmm. just not my style. It's his style. But on the underlying policies, he's absolutely so much more in step. Uh, which is what you just said, mm -hmm. um, than Nikki Haley is w with the base. And so Nikki Haley is, is almost, is the candidate that I think ma mainstream or established people want to foist on the right. And that and yeah. that's so obvious that they're doing it. It's transparent. And so no one is is crying too much over Vivek saying a couple not so nice things to Nikki Haley. And you know, they're combatants on the debate stage. Sure. It is not, it's not the wildest thing that any that's ever come out of somebody's mouth on the debate stage, even close. So it's is it a harsher? Is it the way you should know? But it's not like it's not it's not so beyond the pale, right? What he's saying to her? No, it's not. He, he's skirting the line. So um, in August, Michelle Gold, Goldberg wrote a column in the New York Times titled "Vivek Ramaswamy is very annoying. It's why he's surging in the polls." Yeah. And she argues that I suspect Ramaswamy's fans are drawn to him for all the reasons his critics find him insufferable. Conservatives love being championed by representatives of groups that they think disdain them, despite the right's deep resentment of the entertainment industry. Republicans tend to adore celebrity candidates, from Ronald Reagan to Arnold Schwarzenegger and Donald Trump. Yeah. The, the, he's, a, he's a performer. He's a superstar. That's part. That's part of the draw. Yeah. She's saying. But he you is think saying. So? Well, sure. But but he is saying there are some differences on that debate stage on issues of foreign policy, on issues of of cancel culture and free speech, mm -hmm. where Vivek was markedly different than the other four people up there. And I think more in step with what an online younger, newer right wants. And the, the mainstream doesn't really understand that. Um, they're not acknowledging it, but they don't even—they don't even really get it. They don't get this base of people, which is a, a, a lot of people. I think a lot of fans of our show from the right fit into that category. Um, I see obviously that, um, that videos where we talk about Vivek do very well. There's a lot of interest in his candidacy. Do you think there's more interest among younger voters, younger Republican voters, than Vivek? For sure, absolutely. Do we do we have polling on that? I don't think we do, but that's my sense. I mean, it is interesting. Michelle Goldberg, and again, I disagree a lot of her, with a lot of her takes, but she does argue here that he's a younger candidate that's running an, an, an anti-youth campaign, pointing to uh, his call to strip voting rights from people under 25 unless they pass a civics test. Um, and also, he's very much out of step with young people on those woke culture issues. Young people are more woke. Well, young Republicans specifically. Sure, but even o overall. I don't know that young fewer, people overall. Fewer young like people him. are Republican precisely right. because of those kinds but of issues. But young young Republicans are, I mean, I, I, would, I don't think raising the voting age is a good idea, but are more worried about losing their job because they shared something super right-wing online. And that's an issue he speaks to mm -hmm. in, a, in, a, in a 
you know, both sides kind of way that they appreciate, I think. That's my interpretation of where his fandom is. Uh, we will continue to follow his candidacy. We'll have more rising right after this.